Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first match play on the Rome season one. If that wasn't Welcome to Tobacco Road, I don't know what was. Well, I hate to see it. Hate. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Palmer Design, Mid-South, which was actually originally called Pinehurst Plantation. They broke ground in 1988. Could be wrong on this, but uh, to my knowledge, it was opened in 1993. So the golf course is as old as I am. <laughs> my name is Matt Hauser, I'm a general manager at Talmore Mid-South. Been here since 2003. Got in the golf business in 1999. I graduated from college and had no idea what I wanted to do. Originally from Illinois, I uh, jumped in the car one day, drove to Myrtle Beach, and I'm like, there's a hundred golf course, gotta be able to find a job. It wasn't as easy as you thought, but finally finally found one at Long Bay. I was there until 2003, and then my wife got a job up here as a teacher in the middle of, of the year, so moved up here and uh, started at Talamore in 2003, um, just an assistant golf pro, and then Talamore bought this golf course in 2004, and I've pretty much spent most of my time here. So Justin, congratulations on, you know, you start at the bottom, now you're number two seed. Not the number one, but number two. Uh, how are you feeling today? After already playing 18. Yeah, no, feeling much better today. Uh, we got a little bit of sleep last night, which was definitely needed. So, play, played well this morning. Um, Tucker was able to somehow scrape together a back nine that tied me, but I slaughtered him, slaughtered him on the front nine, which was good. And I just played consistent, so he's in trouble. Mm. 83. 83. 83. Yeah, no, it was a eight. And to be honest, it was an 83 without. It was a roller coaster of an 83. No, it was pretty consistent. Oh. <laughs> it was pretty consistent. <laughs> um, it was a. It was an 83 with lots of opportunity. So uh, Tucker, rookie, rookie, squid. Yep. How you feeling today after? after the monstrosity that you, you played this morning? I mean, the, the front nine was a monstrosity. Um, I was also, you know, seven over after the first two holes, and then we brought it back a little. Um, ended up putting together a decent back nine. Uh, tied Justin on that, so you know, I feel like I'm trending up. Do have to give him seven strokes. I mean, I just gotta keep the ball in play, um, make a putt here and there, um, and then wait for the Justin temper tantrum. Per tournament rules yeah. of On The Roam, mm -hmm. Justin's number two seed, he has elected to Tee off first. It's a bold move, Scott. It's a bold move. Real bold move. He's um, got way too much confidence right out the gate. He does. I feel um, like a ten temper tantrum will happen. There's on a the bunker about 150 yards out there. <laughs> um, I'd love to see his ball just go straight in the middle of that big splash of sand. We'll see. All right, bombs away. There's the hole. <laughs> T's back there. And then we got the squirrel over there in the woods. Uh, not sure what he's doing over there, but uh, it's not good. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Bedard has conceded the hole. You never want to come out of the gate too hot. So Tucker's one up. Great golf course, just recently ranked in the top uh, top courses in the state by Golf Week, got in the top uh, resort courses in the country as well by Golf Week, so you know, a lot of great accolades here. It's a bigger golf course, you, you, can, you can get a little crooked with your tee shots. A lot of water, which is very unique to this area. There's not a lot of water you know, on the courses here, it's sand hill. So, you know, you can stretch it out. You can play from over 7,000 from the back tees, move up a little bit, but you know, plenty of sets of tees for people to play from. A lot of undulation in the fairways. When the greens are quick, they've, they've got some bite to them. A lot of great views around the golf course as well.
You got this. Oh, that's a f***ing great out. Let's f***ing go. We're on the fifth hole here, uh, all square still, just in strokes, because it's the number two handicap on the course. Had to go over some water, tried to jam one in there close, pretty sure it's gone forever in the water. Um, knew we got a stroke, so had to get after it. So are you conceding, or? Uh, we'll see if I find the ball or not. Way too fast. You better hit it. Stop. Just past the hole. Stop. That was pretty PGA Tour-esque. Oh, hate to see it. Play what's in front of you. Don't try to drive it too far. You can drive it through some fairways. There's some water at the end of the fairways. If you get going sideways, you know, some of the fairways got some, you get on some slopes on the sides and stuff. You know, play to a yardage you're comfortable with and, and, and go from there. If you try to take too much from the golf course, it's gonna bite back. Yeah, that one's gone forever in the hazard. You're dead down the middle, you're whole. Conceits! We had a shift in everybody switching from Benton Grass Greens, Bermuda Greens, starting about 2013. We did Mid-South in 2017 and Talamore in 2016. You have a good putting surface all year round. You know, for the, for the longest time, the summer was, you're not going to Piners in the summer, you're not going up there because it was too hot for Benton Grass Greens and you really struggled. Some years you'd make it through okay, some years, you know, you just, you, you, you prayed for fall to come in the cooler weather. In the summer, the course is in probably the best shape that it is, but you know, it's hot. So a lot of people don't like to play as much. Our summers, once once we switched over to Bermuda, I mean, they're just as busy as any other time of year. I mean, the weekends people still come because golf is good. We are here after nine holes, through nine holes. In case in case anyone didn't know, Burke number is one seed. the number one seed. No, yeah, feels pretty good. What am I, three up? Three up? Three up after nine. You had, it was a little rocky in the beginning. It was a little rocky. Yeah. The, uh, honestly, you? honestly, yeah. Um, pulling off that four on the second hole kind of turned things around. I feel like I've been playing pretty consistent, but I think I could turn it up a little bit. So what's uh, what are we what are we what are we saying here? What, what, what are we what's the prediction? What are we what are we going for? I'm thinking eight up wins it. <laughs> yeah. That's fierce. I, I want those I strokes want tomorrow. Those strokes. I want those strokes. I, I know you want those strokes. You need strokes. to pull it together. You know? Um, pull it together. I, I don't remember the last time I had this little faith in uh, in a golf club in my hands. I mean, I, I got to get off the tee. That's that's the real issue here. Um, I'm, I'm Safety not, club? It might be, might be a play. Um, I, it, it's going to be a lot more of, uh, you know, hitting different things off the tee other than driver because there's just, uh, I have no, no confidence in it and it has, uh, it has been failing me over and over. Uh, three wood is also going that way. So uh, we might be going down to the safety club where we can hit it. Uh, what seat are you, Burke? Number one. Oh, all right. Just, just so we all Just know. check. And stepping up to the tee is the number one seed, <laughs> Burke Cullinan. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a mulligan. It's, it's it's all over. We're done here. You know, there's about 30, 35 golf courses here. Piners has nine. Pine Needles and Mid Pines, they have, and now they've added Southern Pines. They've got three. We've got two. Pine Wild has two. There's really nothing else to do except play golf here. I mean, this is, you come to play golf. It's not Myrtle Beach where you could go to the beach and the nightlife and stuff. I mean, it's, you know, you come, you go play golf and then, you know, grab a bite to eat. But, you know, you get a lot of people just you know, 36 holes a day when they come down and, and just play golf. And this is pure golf here. Oh, yeah. Great ball. Ugh. Gross. Hate to see it. Well played. Hate to see it. Hate. <laughs> 14. Everyone was struggling. We basically all ended up laying three on our approach shots into the green. We all had basically a pitch and a putt. So Justin threw up a side bet there. 
Um, feel like he was getting a little cocky about the match, you know, throwing more stuff on top of it, losing his focus. We finished up 14, the side bet pressed on for me and Tucker to the next hole. I wasn't even thinking about the match anymore at this point. Alright, the bet pushes to the next hole. Through. Pressure, like, we're, we're good. That's fair. We're gonna wait to tell him. Yeah. We're gonna wait to tell him. On the next tee, I realized that it was all over, but because we had that side bet going, I decided to wait a little bit to tell him, see if I could let that pressure kind of mount on him. On the green on 15, he was like, hey, you won the match last hole. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, all right. I like the 15th hole. It's a reachable par five. When you're up on the tee, you can see over all the trees. You know, it's not not terribly long hole. Green goes down to your to your left. You hit a good drive. You got a chance to make it in two. Um, it's two big trees and a bunker that guard it. You know, it's just it, it's just a nice risk reward hole. And I mean, obviously, anytime you, you can get to a par five and two for for a lot of people, that makes it a uh, just an enjoyable hole. I feel like if you're going down there to play resort golf, mid south's exactly what you expect. Great conditions fun course, exactly what I would expect out of a North Carolina resort course. Next week on On The Roam. Never in my life have I felt so bad after making a birdie putt. Oh, that's a good way to start the day.